Okay, I got Shane Ryan. He's one of the top 10 in the world uh, backstroke. He's Olympic swimmers. He was in the last Olympics and he's going to be going to two, 2020. Anyway, um, principle I learned from reading the book Guns, Germs, and Steel. Um, countries, places, islands where they don't share knowledge, where they don't bring knowledge in from outside. It's, it's the year 1900 and they still haven't invented the wheel yet. Whereas places where knowledge comes into a certain place and people share knowledge, knowledge grows and the society advances. So one of the things that with Intensity Aquatics that we will always emphasize is to bring people in who have more knowledge than us. This guy right here, holy moly. I listened to him speak for like 30 seconds and I'm humbled. I'm like, oh, I knew a lot about swimming. And then I start listening to Shane and uh, all of a sudden I, I realize what I don't know. So the knowledge we get from like an hour of Shane coming in here coaching is just unbelievable. Um, I, I mean, I take copious amounts of notes. So um, now, of course, all the knowledge he gives us, we have to apply. That's why I take notes, and then we're going to try to figure out how to incorporate that into practices. But um, it's it's so interesting when we're in a pool, a humble pool like that, where someone goes from one end to the other, and it takes them like 20 seconds, and then uh, Shane comes in here and um, hits the other end in like nine seconds it's crazy he, he did that in one of our other little uh things he went from the block and um i think diving from the blocks he went from there and i think he went in right about here which is amazing and then by the time the the clock had run it was like nine seconds later and he's touching the other end it was just really amazing but again the thing is we want you know, if kids want to go to a, a swim camp, we expect them to bring that knowledge back and share it with us, to educate us. We share education, we share knowledge, and we grow that way. Um, so anyhow, by the way, Guns, Germs is still a pretty good book. It's just interesting for people who love random bits of knowledge.